Anyway, so let's talk about the market overall. And really, this is basically the Ethereum episode, if you will, because number one, Ethereum ETF issuers working to address reasonable comments from SEC by Friday, according to sources. Now, why are they working towards doing it by Friday? Well, because they want to get going with this ETF launch, and it's probably going to be on July the 2nd. Like, this is probably a very real thing. Prospective Ethereum ETF issuers are responding to the comments received from the SEC last week, according to two sources, and aim to hand them back in this week. The sources describe the comments as light and reasonable. Now, why is it light and reasonable, you might be asking yourself? Well, there is a reason. This happened right here. The SEC has permanently suspended its investigation into Ethereum. So now we have a reason. Uh, and we just kind of what's going on here is the cryptocurrency community has been battling with the bears over the past couple of days. But in a new turn of events, the market is celebrating Ethereum's victory. Earlier today, Ethereum developer Consensus announced in a blog spoke that the United States SEC was closing its investigation around Ethereum's native token Ether. Consensus sued the SEC back in April and began its investigation to check if Ether was classified as a security in the lawsuit. The SEC blatantly suggested that the SEC and Gary Gensler believe that the altcoin was a security. However, in its ex post, Consensus said, uh, Today we're happy to announce a major win for the Ethereum developers, technology providers, and industry participants. The enforcement division of the SEC has notified us that it's closing its investigation into ETH 2.0. This means that the SEC will not bring charges alleging the sale of Ethereum or securities transactions. Lauren Bookover uh, also from Con consensus as the sec sent us a closing letter in the ethereum 2.0 investigation things have changed remarkably fast uh since late april culminating in today's development after more than a year the ethereum investigation is finally over with no charges against anyone and consensus of course has made a full statement for that so what you've seen now is a paradigm shift why are you seeing this paradigm shift because joka hunt is oh yeah bunga oh yeah bunga me no like i'm a crypto me want them control them from bank them uh liz warren you ungrateful cunt, cunt, uh, cunt. I, I can't finish the word can i i'm not allowed to do that uh actor jason crow is in the house by the way trailer for my movie is out uh scream dream i'm not in the trailer which is bullshit but hey you know what uh if you guys want to help out uh, Jason, put a link in chat and, you know, if anybody wants to help contribute to the finishing of that movie, uh, and a full trailer, which will include little old me, then, uh, certainly make a donation and help these guys out. They're looking for I, a few thousand dollars in order to finish the production of the movie so that they can move on and get it, uh, and get it out to people. So, um, if you can help, certainly help. And, and Jason, if you have a link, uh, certainly, uh, share that. So we've now got a big win here leads us to, uh, three reasons why the SEC can approve the spot ethereum s1 filing by july 2nd uh first of all the consensus versus sec resolution so this is no longer a thing the sec announced the conclusion of its investigation with no uh charges filed the resolution of this investigation is crucial as it sets a precedent for ethereum's regulatory status which turns it into a commodity now the next thing is the spot ethereum etf s1 amendments by applicants are being pushed forward and they're saying that these are very friendly uh things that they're asking for there's not a problem here another key factor influencing the timeline um bitwise amended their s1 filing in response to feedback from the sec which means the sec is engaging with people they addressed regulatory concerns and enhancing trends Transparency for the proposed ETF structure. Remember, uh, there are no staking protocols in there. That that has been a sticking point for the uh, for the SEC. In case other amendments gushed in, Spot Ethereum ETF S1 approval could be expedited. Bitwise recent amendment, for instance, detailed significant investment commitments. This included 2.5 million seed investment from investment manager uh, Bitwise Investment Manager LLC. Moreover, oh no, Bitwise got a loan from Bitwise Investment? Come on. God, God damn it. I, you know what? It's the disingenuous stuff like that that always makes me, if, even when you, you think of something good, you, you see bullshit like that and you're just like, can't believe that they, oh, Bitwise Investment, uh, they're named almost like Bitwise. Ha, 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 ha. I wonder why I did that. You know what I mean? It's just disingenuous. I hate when I see stuff like that. Moreover, expressions of interest from institutions like Pantera Capital Management underscore the robust market demand for Ethereum ETF despite being non-binding. And then number three, Gary Gensler's public statements have been influencing expectations regarding the approval timeline. And he said over the course of this summer, this underscores SEC's proactive stance towards embracing innovation while ensuring investor protection. And remember, not only do we have this launching, but we have the, um, uh, the Bitcoin, uh, there's a round table uh, in the White House very, very soon going to be led by Mark Cuban and some 
um, big members of the crypto community uh, to talk about mass adoption and how the United States can become a leader in this new digital asset paradigm as opposed to uh, the Gary Gensler and the Jocahontas of it. Hey, uh, bunga. God damn it. Do you know that crazy ass woman? And this is true. This, this Liz Warren lied about her ethnicity in order to get um, uh, in order to get into college. Uh, which means that she probably beat somebody else out based on ethnicity, a more deserving candidate. And this woman has the nerve to cash a paycheck from the Senate every every month. Is that real? Like, is it? It's, it's sometimes you just feel like you are living in the matrix, right? Like, like how does that even happen? So those three reasons are why you can expect to see something big happen. Now, what big thing could you see happen? Well, can Ethereum hit four thousand after the SEC decision? Is the question being asked? Um, ETH developer consensus gave that uh, analysis that they think this is what's happening though. So although, uh, although ETH seems to be slowly recovering, the larger crypto market is still stagnant. Bitcoin continues to trade around 65.5, down 3% in the last seven days. Uh, it's highly unlikely that ETH will rally without Bitcoin support. Uh, Bitcoin is the market leader and other assets usually follow its trajectory. Um, researchers at Coin Codex believe Ethereum will consolidate at around its current price in the next couple of weeks. It predicts it, uh, it predicts it to trade at 35.33. By the way, this is where you really got an indication of Coin Codex. Uh, the more I listen to Coin Codex, the less I I value what they're saying. U.S. SEC also approved the ETF. So. Um, in order to push up above 4,000, obviously we're going to need a little help from Bitcoin. We're going to need all hands on deck, everything working together. We're going to need to see some good inflows from Ethereum. We're going to need to see some good inflows from Bitcoin. So it all works in synergy. And then we're going to see that greed index start to rip, 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 rip to get us up there. But again, I think that it's 4,600. I gave you, I gave you guys a number where I think 4,600 is the number. So remember, by the way, we're in the bearish portion of the uh, post nut clarity, if you will, uh, for what is going on. So right now we're in that phase where it's been, what is it now? About 60 days uh, since the, yeah, about 60 days since the ETF um, or since the having. So we're, we're not exactly there yet. Remember one of them took 87 days. The other one took 143 days before we really started to get a big rip. So it, it, it's probably on its way up, but now we're in that phase where people are uh, where you see the donkeys, the donkeys around here, like, I think the bull run is over, George. I think the bull run is finished. I don't think that it's going to happen. Uh, you got people like Il Capo of crypto coming out going like, then did do 10,000. And I assume he talks that way because he's an idiot. So, you know what I mean? Like, I have no, I have no respect for anybody who, who just has no clue what they're talking about. And they act like, oh, I got it, bro. No, they don't got it. So uh, 4,000, I think 4,600. We'll see what comes over the next little while. Now, in the meantime, 16,604 Ethereum were bought on Binance. Uh, the moments after all of this happened, expecting a precipitous increase in the price action. So uh, that is a pretty big amount. That was $58.6 million immediately bought up on Binance over over the 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 over a couple of hours and ethereum was up about five percent uh, a little while ago now is it up again today yeah it's up one percent right now so you know not not sailing but again uh but again we're you know we're in the u.s market u.s market is dog shit they're just going to be uh they're takers they're not makers they're at this point they're takers so they're taking their money and around two and a half hours from now we'll find out whether or not this market is going to soar today or not you know what i mean cryptonomy.finance just had an update they are now available in four different language in active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from cryptonomy that's going to be announced very very soon now to be part of that follow them on telegram at cryptonomy underscore finance and on twitter at cryptonomy underscore phi now What's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going And By the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been 
just absolutely killing the game, guys. I put in half a Bitcoin uh, previously. If you remember, that was $30,000 Bitcoin at that point. So, you know, we put in about $15,000. My crude interest so far, and by the way, I do have, this is a share because it's a 50-50 split, but my cut of that $84,241 right now in Bitcoin. So this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today.